A new risk showing up in street drugs causing overdoses and deaths. Good evening, I'm Amadate. And I'm Dan Ashley. This drug could be on the streets in San Francisco, but how will we know? Yes, last year was the deadliest year on record for the drug deaths in the city. More than 800 people died of a drug overdose. It's nearly double the pre-pandemic number. Now a supervisor is asking the city to test for a new opioid that is leading to hundreds of overdoses in North America. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena went to the San Francisco Medical Examiner's Office to see the process that detects these drugs. Luz. Yes, Emma and Dan, the San Francisco Medical Examiner's Office is testing for over 200 drugs in every case. The concern is that every year new drugs are synthesized and combined with other drugs, making them stronger and more deadly. Fentanyl took the lives of over 600 people in San Francisco in 2023. Now experts say fentanyl is being laced with a new drug that could lead to an even greater toll. That the city of Chicago, Philadelphia, Indianapolis, um, and also Toronto and Vancouver are seeing metatomidine adulterating the fentanyl drug supply. Now, this is a very potent and dangerous animal tranquilizer. San Francisco Supervisor Matt Dorsey sent this letter to the city's health department and the medical examiner's office asking for the animal tranquilizer to be added to the hundreds of drugs tested every year giving San Francisco a chance to respond. I wanted to make sure that San Francisco was ready for this. Um, I know that in Philadelphia, just in the last month, over the course of just three or four days, there were more than 600 people who were hospitalized from metatomidine because it was laced into the fentanyl drug supply. UCSF's Dr. Chikaroni has been studying drugs for decades. The concern is that because it's sedating, that that could go um, in the wrong direction when you are already on a sedating opioid like fentanyl. But now you have two sedating drugs or sort of a double downer combination, we could call it, uh, and that would raise the risk for overdose. We got a rare look inside the San Francisco Medical Examiner's Toxicology Lab, where they test over 200 drugs per case. San Francisco's chief forensic toxicologist said they're constantly detecting different types of drugs. So in the last uh, several years, we've noticed drugs such as xylazine, um, but also bromazolam, both designer drugs um, or drugs that were previously used in other areas of our industry, such as veterinary drugs, um, also been found in decedents um, of an accidental overdose. Now they have a new drug to add, metatomidine. We periodically um, update our testing regime uh, when feasible, and that is certainly a substance that we would add to our list of testing regime. The medical examiner's office said there are 50 to 100 drugs synthesized every year. Now they're having to add an animal tranquilizer to that list. Luz Peña, ABC 7 News. Scary. All right, Luz, thanks very much. And as you heard Luz say, more than 600 people died of fentanyl overdoses last year. That's 81% of the total, 806 overdose deaths. California is one step closer to passing a first-in-the-nation law aimed at stopping drug overdose deaths. Now, a bill requiring Narcan to be added to the first aid kits has advanced to the state Senate. Narcan is a nasal spray that can reverse an opioid overdose. All California businesses are currently required to have a first aid kit in the break room or some common area, so this bill would make Narcan more widely accessible. And we want to make sure that you know if you or someone close to you is struggling with substance abuse issues, there is help, a lot of it. We've put together a list of local resources at abc7news.com slash take action.